All right, so let's talk about the difference between saving a document, saving a tool, saving a project, and exporting OBJs. So when I create a quick sphere, right, I'm going to click a sphere. Immediately, I'm going to hit T so I can go into edit mode. And as you can see right now, if I turn on the polyframes, I can rotate around my object, right? I can... Um, implement symmetry, I can make my brush bigger, and I can start sculpting once I make it into a polymesh 3D. Right. Let me hit symmetry, and I'm sculpting away, and as you can see, I have a 3D object. Well, if I save a document, if I go to document, document, save, all I'm going to do is I'm going to save the background document. I'm not going to save my 3D object. If I get out of edit mode, right, you will notice that all my 3D tools disappear. My sculpting safety area is gone. And now when I click and drag, I'm clicking and dragging the last sphere, but I cannot rotate around the canvas. That's because this is a flat 2D canvas. So remember, the document is a 2D image. All right, so let's clear the canvas by going to Control N on a PC and Command N on a Mac. I'm going to drag my object again, and immediately I'm going to hit T for Edit Object. And now I can go back to Edit my 3D object. If I want to save this amazing looking 3D object so I can continue my sculpting later on, what I would do I would go to my tool palette and go to save as and I can save this as a tool right ZBrush is going to ask me where do I want to save it I would name it um, amazing sculpt 001 and make sure that your extension is dot ZTL for ZBrush tool okay I would save it there I'm gonna hit cancel right now because I don't want to save it in my tool, my 3D object would be saved. If my tool had a series of subtools right below it, it would save all the subtools once I saved my tool. If I open a series of tools, for example, I'm going to open um, the demo head ZTL. You will notice that now my demo head ZTL has been stored right in here. If I open another one, for example, the dog, now the dog has been stored right here. And if I open the union skin, for example, my union skin will be right here with the rest of the tools. Now, if I save a tool, all I'm going to save is save the tool that I'm in right now, which in this case, the a tool called union skin 3.ztl, right? But it will not save the rest of them, okay? Let me get out of Lightbox by hitting comma. So in this case, if I want to save all the tools that I have here stored, I would have to save this as a ZBrush project. To do that, we would go to File, Save As. And as you can see, right, our extension will be .zpr for ZBrush project. Unlike a tool, where you will save only the tool with its subtools, the ZBrush project will save all the different tools and their subtools that you have open at that moment. Okay, now let's talk about opening this object right here into other 3D projects. In order to do that, right, we would have to export this as an OBJ. An OBJ is a standard 3D model that can be open on any 3D programs like Maya, Lightwave, 3D Studio Max and on and on. It's like a JPEG or a PNG for 3D models. All right? And the way that we do that, we go to export tool and as you can see, we can export it as an OBJ format. 
the latest versions of ZBrush will allow us to select other formats. For example, we can save it as a Maya.ma, Cinema 4D, and other formats. Okay, so those are the difference between saving our document, which is the 2D background, saving our tool, which will be the specific tool that we are in at the moment, or saving a project and exporting as an OBJ so we can open it into another 3D program.